police officer, you usually have to go back to that department. But can yeah. you trust the police to police themselves? Will your complaint be taken seriously? With multiple hidden cameras, the Fox Files goes undercover with a nationally recognized police testing center. It's never been done before in St. Louis. Investigative reporter Chris Hayes takes you inside for a real look at how police departments handle complaints against their own. What am I under arrest for, man? For failure to comply. Comply with what? You're in a government building, man. Do you understand? We got to know that man. This is what happened when a professional police tester tried to get a complaint form from a St. Louis area police department. It's just one example of the kind of treatment thousands of people have reported to the Police Complaint Center, a national organization that's tested police departments for nearly 20 years. We want to see how citizens are being treated and how officers are reacting to citizens who want to file complaints. Director Greg Slate says he's tested more than 500 departments. His approach is simple. He asks how the complaint process works. Yeah, I'm trying to find out I'm making a complaint against an officer. The response, he believes, is one of the first indicators of how thoroughly police will investigate. Here you go. We're done. Were you throwing me out? This is police surveillance video of a test in Independence, Missouri last year. Slate says the officers refused to give him a complaint form and then arrested him. What are you doing, man? Oh, f Slate ended up in the hospital. In Dallas, another police complaint center tester encountered this deputy who appeared to reach for a weapon. Oh, officer, I don't need no problem. Okay, 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 look, 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 look. The tester's goal is to walk away with an official complaint form, a national standard among police agencies. Slate says there are several problems with just talking to another officer. By telling the officer, as opposed to putting it, putting it in writing, if the officer that you're making a complaint about does this again in the future, there won't be a record. And that's part of the problem, according to the Police Complaint Center. If there's no form, there's no record. And they say that's why we have no national stats about police abuse. So how are complaints handled here in St. Louis? We hired the group to come here to find out. You know, got a government property. Do you understand what that means? Sidewalk? I have a seat over there. This is a map of the near 20 St. Louis area police departments we tested. We went from St. Louis City up to Florissant, out to St. Charles County, while checking many other departments in between. Get out of my building. Slate said some officers intimidated him. He I'm said, not trying to be ignorant or anything else, dude. And I'm raising my voice a little bit. That's fine with me, but... Or refused to give him information with without with specific you. details. In the end, Slate walked away with six complaint forms, about a one-third success rate. Below average, they're used to getting forms at least 50% of the time. If you have a complaint against me, I don't, I don't think I need to find hurdles for you to clear. Former St. Louis police officer Reddit Hudson is now with the ACLU. In every department's practice should be access first. And we did meet officers who gave us easy access. We, you know, we encourage uh, people to make a complaint to have one. Right. This Frontenac officer gave the tester yeah, many I mean, options, um, including making an anonymous complaint. I mean, I, we also had success in places like Overland and St. Louis City. In Normandy, the tester uh, drove up to this patrolman at 3 a.m. and the officer offered to personally lead him to the station to get a complaint form. Yeah, I'll just follow you over. But we also found what Hudson says is a common problem. Based on the culture that exists in a lot of departments, it is sometimes a knee-jerk response. Any complaint is a bad complaint. Any person who complains is a bad person. You're so you are making it up as you go along. Yes, I am, because you're being uncooperative with me. Tomorrow, a closer look at the departments that gave us a hard time. Do you want to visit my jail cell instead? For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes. I'm Join Chris Hayes to discuss this story on his blog. Click on myfoxstl.com. We'll also have our complete investigation results posted tomorrow night.